Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of Mother Shipton or not. She was an English woman who died in 1449. That's before Columbus discovered America. And they called her Mother Shipton. And she made some prophecies. She wrote some poetry and made some prophecies. And I'm going to read one of them to you now. I'm not telling you that she is uh, some prophet of God. I'm not telling you that she knew what she was doing. She could have written this just by accident. She could have had a dream, or she could have had some kind of psychic vision that allowed her to really see into the future. I don't know the answer. But I will tell you this. When you hear this, it will send chills up your spine. It sent chills up my spine today at noon when Doyle brought this home. And I read it. And so uh, I'm going to read it to you. I want you to listen very carefully. It's really spooky. Mother Shipton's Prophecies. Mother Shipton was an English woman who died in 1449. Now listen carefully, folks. A carriage without horses shall go. Disaster filled the world with woe. In London, Primrose Hill shall be its center, hold a bishop's see. Around the world, men's thoughts shall fly, quick as the twinkling of an eye. And waters shall great wonders do. How strange, and yet it shall come true. Then upside down the world shall be, and gold be found at root of tree. Through towering hills, proud man shall ride. No horse nor ass move by his side. Beneath the water men shall walk, shall ride, shall sleep, and even talk. And in the air men shall be seen, in white, in black, as well as green. A great man then shall come and go, for prophecy declares it so. In water iron then shall float, as easy as a wooden boat. Gold shall be found in stream and stone, in land that is as yet unknown. Water and fire shall wonders do, and England shall admit the Jew. The states shall lock in fiercest strife, and seek to take each other's life, when north shall thus divide the south, the eagle builds in lion's mouth. Then tax and blood and cruel war shall come to every humble door. And now a word in uncouth rhyme of what shall be in future time. For in these wondrous far-off days, the women shall adopt a craze to dress like men in trousers wear and cut off all their locks of hair. They'll ride astride with brazen brow as witches do on broomsticks now. Then love shall die and marriage cease and nations wane as babies decrease. The wives shall fondle cats and dogs, and men shall live much same as hogs. In 1926, build houses light of straw and sticks, for then shall mighty wars be planned, and fire and sword swept o'er the land. But those who live the century through in fear and trembling, this will do. Flee to mountains and the dens, to bog and forest and to wild fens, for storms shall rage and oceans roar when Gabriel stands on sea and shore. And as he blows his wondrous horn, old worlds shall die and new be born. Isn't that spooky? She wrote that sometime in the 1400s. I would imagine she died in 1449. And she was known as Mother Shipton. I've read this before, many, many years ago. I've forgotten all about it. And uh, I think there's a book out about Mother Shipton's prophecies, but I don't, I don't know what it is. I haven't seen it. 